What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I've got some pretty cool stuff to unbox. In fact, I've got it right here. It's about a grand worth of pickups and I'm really excited about it so why don't we start busting into these guys and see what we've got. I really need to change the way that I say that. But before we jump into things, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Privacy.com. Privacy.com allows you to buy things online using virtual credit cards instead of real credit cards, which protects your identity and your bank information online. If you're buying a lot of things online, it's a must have, it's free to use, and I actually used Privacy.com to buy almost everything in today's pickup video. So without further ado, let's jump right into the pickups. So the first item that I picked up is actually from Fanatics, I believe. They do like jerseys and sports gear and stuff like that. And this is a jersey that I've been really excited about and one that I really needed. <laughs> oh, look at this. Apparently they also send a bunch of coupons with it too. That's new, that's different. I don't think I like that very much, but hey, you know what, I, it doesn't really matter, I guess. <laughs> but here we go, here we go. Look at this. A brand new Lamar Jackson jersey. Look at that. Not bad for a running back. Loose fit. This is so sick. My current Ravens jersey is a Joe Flacco jersey, which I think I need to retire. One, because he's not on the Ravens anymore. But two, because we got Lamar Jackson now, and he's a beast. I just want to support him, especially now that I'm going to some games. Later on in the year, I'm going to the Steelers game. Should be a lot of fun, so... Grab the, uh, the Jackson jersey from Fanatics. I believe this is actually an official Nike jersey, too. I think I got it for... How much did I pay for this? Maybe, like, 100 it was originally like 130 but I used a discount code and got it for like 100 bucks. But I'm really stoked on this. The Ravens are killing it this season. They're awesome. I mean, yes, they lost to Kansas City, but to be fair, Kansas City, besides the Patriots, is like the best team in the NFL right now. Uh, so don't at me on that. The Ravens are sick. They will be in the Super Bowl. Just watch. <laughs> I hope I don't eat my words later this season. But no, they're doing really well. Lamar Jackson is genuinely a brilliant quarterback. He's going to be a legend for sure. And uh, I'm really excited to rock his jersey. And for those inevitable comments that are like, you're a Ravens fan, where are you even from? I'm from Baltimore. I grew up in Baltimore from age zero to age 18. So this is my team. I was born in 92, they started in 96. So I've been around for the entirety of the Ravens. Um, really excited about this jersey. The stitching quality is excellent. It's dope. It's really dope. So now I'm officially decked out in official gear. I've got my new Ravens jersey. I've got my Sixers jersey and I'm good to go. That's so sick. I'm so stoked on that jersey. I can't wait to rock it. But next up, we've got, obviously, a package from Nike. How could you tell? I don't know, maybe the giant Nike logo on the side and the Just Do It tape that really screams, Steal me! And I'm surprised no one has yet. I really am, genuinely. Like, I've gotten a lot of packages from Nike, and I'm always at the front door when the UPS man arrives. I work from home, so I can do that. But most people can't, so, uh, I know that sometimes people's stuff gets stolen, and that, that really sucks. But, you know what? I understand that Nike's marketing their, uh, their product. I get that, but... I just feel like there's better ways to do it. So, inside the box, we have got... Ooh, look at these. Look at these. My first pair of Kyrie Fives. At least my first pair that I'm keeping. Unfortunately, these are half a size too big. They're a size nine and a half instead of a size nine because I waited so long to pull the trigger on these. But I feel like these shoes do fit really tight or true to size, so I could probably get away with a half size up. So these are obviously the Kyrie Fives, and the colorway is... The Kyrie 5 Bandaloos. I know this colorway isn't that hyped. I know people aren't that excited about this colorway, but I really don't care. I think this is probably the best Kyrie 5 colorway to drop over the Spongebobs. I'm not a huge fan of the Spongebobs. I think they're fine. I just, you know, don't really love Spongebob, so <laughs> don't hate me in the comments for that, guys. It's just what it is. But these are so, so sick. I love the gum outsole. I think that's awesome. I love the sort of sail-colored upper. But my favorite detail about this sneaker is the embroidered-in paint splatters. I really, really love the way it looks, especially on the, I guess, the heel portion of the left shoe with the sort of paint dripping, and also on the uh, toe of the right shoe with that sort of paint ring going on. I just think it's such a unique and cool look. It's subtle in that the base colors of the shoe are like sail and brown and it's not gonna like pop out at you, but it does have these paint splatters which really adds a nice interest to the shoe. And I love the fact that they're embroidered and not like printed on. That really makes them feel a lot more quality. You've got Kyrie Irving's name on these wings right here. You've got Nike Bandaloo embroidered into the heel in a bright red and then you've got Basketball Street Couture embroidered just underneath it in a navy blue. It's just a beautiful, really clean look. 
and I'm obsessed with it. I think this is awesome. This is my favorite Kyrie 5 for sure. You've got this olive green sock liner and this muted red midsole. The whole shoe goes together so nicely. It's just such a clean look. And I know it's kind of ironic that I say that because the overall aesthetic of the shoe is sort of messy and worn and used, but it just, it just goes together so well. The color choices are excellent. Everything is sort of toned down a little bit. So all the bright colors are not really that bright. They've got some sort of grays mixed in with them. So they kind of tone down a little bit and it really brings the shoe together and it makes every part of the shoe sort of, how to describe it, sort of on the same page and on the same level. Like not one portion of the shoe really stands out at you. It all kind of hits you at once which I absolutely love. Plus, I mean, you can never really go wrong with the gum outsole. I'm actually also kind of happy that I had to grab these shoes a half size up because usually with basketball sneakers like this, they fit very tight. And I'm planning to wear these just for lifestyle wear, so I'm not planning to ball on these at all. So I kind of like the fact that I'm gonna have a little bit more room around my foot and it'll be a little bit more comfortable, especially when I'm walking around in them all day. Honestly, I probably could have gotten away with waiting for these to go on sale. Maybe not in my exact size, but kind of close to my size because a few sizes like size nine have sold out, but there's a lot of big bigger sizes and some smaller sizes that are still in stock that just haven't moved and I think the shoe has been out for maybe a couple weeks to a month so I don't think those sizes are really ever going to move so I wouldn't be surprised if these get discounted maybe like 10, 20 bucks in the future, but we'll just have to wait and see. In my opinion, I waited long enough on these and I'm just glad that I was finally able to pick them up. These are dope, I love these. But before we move on, let me tell you a little bit more about privacy.com. Anytime you buy anything online like that jersey or those Kyries, you give your information to the merchants you're buying from and also their data partners without your consent. Privacy.com is a free tool that makes it super easy to manage your financial lives without actually having to share your real information. Privacy.com allows you to transfer money and pay for things online using virtual credit cards rather than your real credit cards or debit cards so that your actual information doesn't actually get on the internet. With privacy.com you can make one-time use cards that you can use to sign up for free trials online and you never have to worry about being billed because they don't have your real credit card information. I literally just did this for a one month free trial like a week ago and so far it's working great. And privacy.com is especially useful for sneakerheads like you and me because it also has a Chrome extension which has autofill so whenever you're trying to buy that new hot sneaker you have autofill which gives you an advantage over everyone else who's trying to buy the shoe manually. Not only that, but privacy.com also allows you to make different credit cards for different stores. So you can have an Amazon specific card that you can set a certain budget for if you don't want to spend too much on Amazon, or if you're buying stuff from, say, Supreme, you can have multiple credit cards, which might not be ethical, but you can do it. <laughs> I've been using privacy.com personally for the last two months and I absolutely love it. So if you'd like to check out privacy for yourself, head over to privacy.com slash Seth Fowler and people who sign up using my link get $5 towards their first purchase with privacy.com. That's five free bucks towards whatever you want, whether that's sneakers or streetwear, it doesn't matter, it's five bucks. So head over to privacy.com slash Seth Fowler now. My throat is killing me, I just did a Twitch stream before this. Oh man, I should have just poured this in a cup. This is a bad look. <laughs> okay, so the last pair of sneakers that I'm unboxing today is a pair that I am really, really excited for that I missed out on on release day and uh, I, I paid too much money for. This shoe is like a majority of the thousand dollars that I said I spent at the beginning of the video, so uh, I hope it's in uh, good condition. <laughs> this is a recent drop and in my opinion, I think this actually has potential to be sneaker of the year. I genuinely think that. I think over the Travis Scott ones, um, over a lot of other sneakers, I think this could be it. So I'm really excited to see this pair in hand. I have not seen this colorway in hand yet, so I can't wait. I bought this pair from Goat Instant Ship, and it came in, I think, in like two days, which isn't too bad. So excited about seeing it in hand. Here we go. You guys have any guesses as to what this could be? A lot of you probably already know, but I don't know if I would have known from just the outside of the box, to be honest. Okay, here we go. I'm really excited, I can't wait. That. You guys have any more ideas if you didn't know? I think it actually says what it is on the paper. Let me pull it all the way out. Hello. These are the Sakai Nike LD Waffles in the gray and white colorway. This is my absolute favorite colorway that dropped of these, by far. Wow, they really wrapped these up, didn't they? <laughs> it looks like they also come with a pair of like dark navy blue laces. Kind of interesting. It's not the pop of color that I would have expected, but I'm not mad at it. Wow, this shoe is sick. Look at that. So as the name would suggest, this is a combination of the LDVs and the waffles. And the whole idea behind the Sakai collaborations is that they're combining two different shoes together into one. So the blazers are a combination of the blazers and dunk highs. I really like the blazers a lot. 
but I also really like these a lot. And I think out of the two silhouettes, the Sakai LD waffles are probably the easier pair to wear. I know that this weird heel situation, this midsole thing jutting out in the back is definitely interesting and some people don't like that. And it might make it harder to wear, to be honest. I don't know. I think these are so fire, it's crazy. Now that doesn't mean that I don't think the other colorways are fire, I think they're nice, but this is by far my favorite. I mean, I would have been happy with the other colorways, but this is the only one that I was really willing to pay resale on. So of course you've got the two separate tongues because like I said, it is two separate shoes mashed together into one. You've got the two separate Nike swooshes. You've got the two different mud guards, the two different heel counters and then of course the midsoles. And I think this white and gray colorway does a great job of really showing off the overall shape of the shoe. You're not distracted by crazy colors. You're looking at the combination of two different shoes together into one, and I think that's awesome. The upper is very, very thin, thinner than I expected. It's just literally a layer of mesh, which is kind of scary, so I gotta be careful about wearing these, but I mean, it's gonna be breathable. In addition to that crazy midsole on the back, you've also got the Nike Sakai branding printed on the top, right there on this gray leather panel. You've got a gray sock liner, sort of a lighter gray sock liner, and also Nike Sakai printed on the insole in bright orange, which I think is actually the only bright orange hit other than that Nike swoosh on the tongue. I also really love the shades of gray that they used on this shoe. They're not too um, dense, they're not like overpowering at all, but they sort of highlight the different parts of the shoe that I think need to be highlighted, and it's just such a clean look. I definitely paid more than I needed to on these. Um, I think I, I just missed you know, the lowest price. With, with shoes like this, usually you wanna buy them like a week or two after they drop when the prices are lowest, when everyone is trying to get rid of their pairs. And I think I just missed that and I paid probably two, 300 bucks more than I needed to. But the reason I grabbed these besides the fact that I really wanted these is that at the end of the year, I wanna do like a top sneakers of the year and I wanna own every sneaker on that list so that I can actually show you guys and give you really nice shots of each one of those shoes. So this is the one that for me right now is sneaker of the year, in my opinion, this is sneaker of the year. So hopefully I didn't just ruin that video for you, but it's two months away, so you'll probably forget by then. <laughs> but for me, it's this. I love the Travis Scott ones. I think they're great. I think they're incredible. I think they're really well done. But at the end of the day, just kind of a one with the backward swoosh. This though, well, it's just kind of a LDB and waffle mash together. <laughs> I mean, it's still a great shoe. I absolutely love these. I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna drop a review on these guys or not because they are a little late. Let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see a review, but I'm stoked these are in my collection. I think these are an incredible pair of sneakers and I'm just really happy to have them. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on these sneakers and which one of these shoes you'd rather have. I feel like for a lot of people, it's gonna be an obvious choice, but don't count these Kyrie fives out. These are dope. Once again, huge thanks Thank you to privacy.com for sponsoring today's video. If you would like to check out privacy for yourself, go to privacy.com slash Seth Fowler and you'll get $5 off your first purchase. It's really easy to remember and it's linked in the description below, privacy.com slash Seth Fowler. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.